Everyone who's in here early, thank you so much. Uh, I'm pretty sure Cartoon Katie got in here before I was even streaming. Ooh, I'm like phasing into the background. I love this. And um, yeah, thanks everyone for get, getting here early. The, yeah, we have the robot is working. <laughs> so stoked about the robot. So the robot has a few commands that uh, you, can, you can have him do. He'll tell you about Discord, I think. Uh... If you just say, he'll just say stuff. Um, he'll welcome you in, in it's really lovely. Um, we need a name for him. Walkumbot is like what I've been, little buddy. Um, I think he, I think he does just, I think he does stuff. Nope, that's not one of them. Yeah, there's a list of commands. Nope, none of those things are them. <laughs> uh, but, Oh, fart would be a really good one. I uh, hope you got video of that kid, Whitney. Uh, sketchy Eli Harmony com Harmony Computer Bot? That's not bad. He's the Wah Bot. Oh, cause Wacom Bot. That's that's what it would mean. I get I get you. I get you. I get you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I work here. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's just my favorite. This is like the only reason I wanted this little bot is anytime someone says Stoke in the chat, he'll he'll let you know. He'll let you know. I love it so much. Uh, yeah, so what are we doing today? We have a few things planned. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Wabot. Okay, just call it. Uh, Wabot is, is definitely up there. I was promised breakfast. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna jump right into breakfast. Um, last week we were designing a maple syrup jug, and we're just gonna jump right back into that. Yeah, um, I worked on it a little bit during the past week, but like not much at all. So it's gonna be pretty similar to what you guys saw last. Uh, but we do. I don't think my viewer count refreshes as fast as everyone else for whatever reason if we get more than 20 viewers in chat let me know because i have something to show you guys we need more than 20 viewers for it though because i can't show you more than once okay it's not a giveaway but it might lead up to a giveaway i think it's gonna lead up to a giveaway okay all right let's uh Let's get into Photoshop. Oh, we got 15. We got 15 viewers. Yeah, so, yeah. This is, uh, this is what we're working on today. <laughs> Alright, let me hit up my friends. <laughs> don't, you don't have to go out of your way. But, you know, if we uh, call your friends. If, if we just happen to get more than 20 people in chat, there is... There is something I want to show you guys. This is me just being like, yo, we need more viewers. All right. But for real, Krisher, can I draw this but opposite? So it's a breakfast character in the middle and a bunch of floating bear things yeah I mean like I would love that what do you mean by bear things like the bear necessities there's been a lot of bear puns lots lots of bear puns
You'll have to wait and find out. <laughs> Jump scared me? No, I did not. Don't even lie to me. Mega Motion, I feel like I haven't seen you in the chat in a hot second. Um, I mean, I totally get it. You're on the other side of the planet right now, but welcome back. Um, I've missed you. Oh, I've missed you, Mega Motion. Took the breath out of me. <laughs> Mick Twitch, I haven't seen you in here in a, in a hot second either. Um, thanks, thanks for being in here. Uh, how have you been? How have you all been? How's the week been? It's Friday. I I haven't. I usually get super hyped that it's Friday. Um, I'm gonna have a busy weekend. I've already lined some stuff up. I'm gonna go biking. I gotta drop off some art. I'm gonna be in an art show, in like IRL. I'm gonna be vaccinated. I'm gonna be in an art show. And if you want more deets on the art show, you know, send me a DM. Deets on the art show. Uh, make Twitch, I will get you those deets. We want more deets. Well, it's going to be like an in-person one. Like, I, I want to invite you all. But none of you are in Portland. And I'm like, maybe I don't want to go back to in-person because my community is <laughs> can't can't join me in a plant shop. It's gonna be in a plant shop. It's not like um, one of those super fancy galleries. It's it's a little bit more low key, which I appreciate. I've never well, I've never been in a fancy gallery, so <laughs> there's that. Um, yeah, uh, June sixth, which is which is Ked Whitney's birthday. Uh, so Ked Whitney, I am I will be vaccinated and arting it up on your birthday. I'll swim over and watch. Where would you swim? Uh, like, what would the route be? Because, like, obviously you gotta get across the Atlantic, or would you just, like, go the opposite way? Happy birthday. <laughs> well, Ked Whitney's birthday isn't until the 6th, but I think we have a stream in between now and then. But, you know, always good to get it in now. All right, the plant shop that the art show is in is called Planty McPlanterface, and I wish I was making that up, but I'm not. It's uh, Planty McPlanterface. Breakfast bot, he does say breakfast stuff. Oh, he needs to be moved. Let me move him, let me move him. Let me move him, hold on. Poor little guy. Poor little guy. He's gotta come over. All right, Mega Motion. There's gonna be another bear. Hold, just, just, just so you know. <laughs> There you go. All right. All right. Now, now the little robot has, has room. He loves waffles. David Ricksmith, how are you? Uh, really appreciate all the stuff that you've been posting in the discord lately. You've been on fire. You all have been. I swear it's like Friday rolls around and like you guys just dump stuff into the Discord. It's so good. Mega motion. I'm excited to show off some of the stuff that, that you've been putting in the Discord. Planty McPlanter face. Is 
Is he drooling? Is he sticking his tongue out? I was thinking he's got like a little like he's doing like the own own. So we need to make it look like not a tongue. How about that? Is that not a tongue? Maybe the maybe when I color it, it'll also be not a tongue. Oh, that does it for you. Okay, good. It doesn't do it for me. There we go. Almost at 20 people. Oh my gosh. It says 16 for me. What does it say for you guys? I can't pull in the numbers like Cintiq Showdown does, you know? I'm just I'm just one guy. I'm just one guy. Did we hit 20? Oh, see, it doesn't even say 20. It says 16 for me. All right. All right, all right. All right, well, okay, first, I gotta run some ads. First off, we gotta run some ads. All right, be right back. Are you tired of creating beautiful works of art? Yeah, I am. Are you making art or are you just making a mess? Or are you just boring? Why is the camera on me? What you need is a healthy dose of Twitch. Twitch brings you the art without any of the hassle. Sit back, relax, pull up a screen and just watch. Enjoy your time while someone else creates a masterpiece. So come on in and join the chat. Side effects may include increased creativity, stuff to talk about at work, a new perspective on life, emote collecting, an increase in water consumption, and fun. When you put in a hard day's work tending the ranch, and beans and dogs just aren't cutting it anymore, you need something with a little more kick. That's where Yeehaw Sauce comes in. It'll put a little extra pep in your step. Don't settle for anything less. Get your Yeehaw sauce today. Okay. The ads are important <laughs> to what's going to happen next. I'm not going to Okay, let's just let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I I've I've been excited to to show you guys this. Okay, here we go. Howdy. What will it be? Um, seltzer. Grapefruit. Just a can. Listen, I'm uh, looking for someone. It's uh, a Mr. Mr. Ha. Thanks. May I sit? Of course, friend. Seems like you've been looking for me. I'm looking for something, and I hear you know where it is. Oh, I know exactly what you're looking for, and I got it right here with me. You do? This this, this isn't what I'm looking for.
Listen, I'm looking for... I'm looking for the fountain pen of youth. Well, that's something completely different. Do you know what you're asking for? I do. Legend says it's a pen that never runs out of ink. It's a brush that never runs out of paint. And it's a pencil you never have to sharpen. Well, son, looks like you've done your homework. But this isn't just gonna be a jaunt through the woods. Some might say it might even be a perilous journey. Well, I've made it this far, haven't I? All right, I'll get you what you need. Cool, how can I trust you? Is that, is that what I think it is? It sure is. But it's only a piece of the puzzle. You're gonna need more. What are the other pieces? What am I gonna need? That's what you're gonna have to figure out on your own. I'll give you what I got. So, uh, who told you how to find me anyways? Oh, yeah, Carter did. Who's Carter? You know, the guy that streams on Wednesdays? Purple hair. What? No. Listen, I'm just a side character on the Friday stream. I can't be expected to know everyone. And there we go. That was it, guys. <laughs> I stayed up all night making that. <laughs> Carter is the first piece of the puzzle. Thanks, thanks for being here, guys. <laughs> and we can end this stream now if you want, and we can all. We could all go home. But yeah. You just elusive elusive light elusive Elise. <laughs> Play it again. It's like four minutes long. William approved. Good, good. I'm glad William approved. That was amazing, and now I am hooked up on this channel. <laughs> Auntie Coralis! Thanks, thanks. I know you're new here, and maybe not a lot of this makes sense to you, but... That was cool. Thank you so much, Jess. I'll go back and watch it. I will I will play it again. Um, maybe, like... We just got a new follower. Thank you for following. No, we got a Prime. Mega Motion, subscribe to the Prime. Thank you so much, Mega. Kill a Kush, thanks for the love. Thanks for the love. Okay, I, I'm gonna play it again. I'll play it again at the top of the hour um, at four o'clock when we do the thank you for posting in the Discord. But thank you guys. I'm glad I could make that for you. There will be more. Elusive Elise, thank you. Thank you for following. Uh. But yeah, okay, let's draw. <laughs> that's because that's that's what everyone's really here for, right? The drawing. No. Elusive Elise, thanks for following. I really appreciate it. I know that you've been here in the uh, Cintiq showdowns, but, you know, appreciate, appreciate that you're here in the not Cintiq showdown times. So... I haven't written the rest of the script. It's kind of, I've been making it up as I go along, but 
there's more. There's more. You know, it's all happening this summer, and I'm excited to make more. I am here for the yeehaw sauce only. So, Cartoon Katie, uh, fun fact for the new people here. Cartoon Katie created yeehaw sauce. For whatever reason, I dressed up like a cowboy for a stream, and I dedicated the entire stream to the lasso tool. I don't even know if I used the lasso tool, to be honest. But I just dressed up like a cowboy, and Cartoon Katie made yeehaw sauce for me. And... Everything just kind of started snowballing after that. <laughs> the true reason to use the lasso tool. I don't know about that. But I'll take it. Ant Rant, how have you been? This coffee is brought to you by Ant Rant. worried about my yard work this weekend. I feel like I'm going to be too busy to do yard work. And if I don't mow the lawn, who will? Ants in the garden. Eh. I like this bear. I pay burbs. Thanks for being here. We keep, uh, I pay burbs. We keep meeting each other in streams. I, I like it. Between your stream, Lanny's stream, and this stream, I just, I get my daily dose if I pay burbs. It feels like every day. We big chilling. <laughs> you weren't here like 10 minutes ago, were you, Burbs? It's probably good. I was... But, uh... We had a we had a movie showing 10 minutes ago, and, uh... We're gonna show it again at the top of the hour. It's only a four-minute movie. I don't know if it's like one of those reasons, one of those things where like, if I show it, then like we might lose some followers. I'm gonna look, Cartoon Katie, I know you have a gig later. Uh, so have fun, do some lurking, do some working. Thank you for being here. Thanks for creating Yeehaw Sauce. Really appreciate it. Also, we need new emotes. We need new emotes. That's all I'm saying. And I've been getting some good suggestions from people. We did. We actually did gain some followers and a subscriber. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Mega Motion and Elise. It was a gamble. It was a gamble. It was like one of those things where I was like, well, this could go one of two ways. I made sure to do it when a Meg when uh when Megan was on vacation. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Megan's in, like I'm sure like lurking in in here somewhere. Always watching. Corn plus trophy equals profit. Okay, we need corn. <laughs> lurking harder, hardly lurking. I love that so much. Uh, is that a pun? 
Would you guys call that? Is that a pun? This is for you, Elise. Can that be on a shirt? That would be a good shirt. Gasp. I love I love when people write gasp. It's like, gasp. <laughs> I always read it in my head like very excitedly, you know. Maybe maybe it's the asterisk. Write more stuff in asterisks if you want to get me excited about it. The sound is better. I fixed it. Something was wrong with the export. I don't know. A sound bite would be difficult. <laughs> Gasp. <laughs> This guy has a big belly and I like it. I love an automatopoeia. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just... My love of comics is coming out. Is anyone reading any good comics? So, uh, Mega Motion, um, I know that you recommended the Twilight Princess manga series. I have it reserved in the library. It is not my turn to rent it yet, so I will be getting it soon. I just got some more Alita Battle Angel. Um, and I'm also reading the Poppy Wars series, which is not a comic book, but I am excited about this book. Yeah, I didn't know about this either, but um, Mega Motion uh, recommend. There's like seven books. There is a Twilight Princess Zelda manga, and it looks pretty cool. Um, I just reserved it at the like I was saying. I just reserved it at the library. It hasn't it hasn't come in yet. Uh, but I'm excited to start it. Eight just came out. It arrived. Sick. Yeah. Um, everyone jump on that. Let's, should I color this bear now? I could start. I'm going to, I'm going to outline this coffee cup and then I'm going to color that bear. What happened to the music? Something went wrong. Reload page. Spotify. Spotify's dying. Guys. Spotify's struggling. Let's try this again. Whoa. Well, that's not good. The music is spotty at best. Come on, Spotify. Try reloading the page. All right, we're gonna have to try YouTube. Do you know if they're at all? Who makes these bad boys? What the what the say bear? Um, Muslim two seven seven. Thanks for being in. Uh, we're doing a little. The music is real loud now. Hold on, I gotta turn it down. There we go. 
We're doing a maple syrup label. So that's this is this is what we're gonna be doing. Eventually, this illustration is gonna go on a jug of maple syrup. Um, here at the Wacom Experience Center Twitch channel, we like breakfast, and here we are. I am bare. The Twilight Princess manga is surprisingly dark compared to the game, which is wild for Nintendo. Maybe they are trying to reach like a different audience with the books. You're only further selling this to me, yeah. You have four bear friends? You can speak you can speak with this bear. I won't I I don't know if he'll be able to hear you in in the trance that he's in now. He seems to be in quite the meditative state. Or she, maybe it's a mama bear. Mama bear. Mama Bear meditates when she gets her five minutes of free time. <laughs> yeah, maybe we need some like little little bears. Little baby bears. Joining in here. Is this gonna be a black bear? Purple bear? I think this bear needs to be purple. Purple bear. Right? Man, if only I was in Clip Studio, I'd have the coloring done by now. Don't think about a purple polar bear. Has anyone ever said that to you? Because apparently when you say that, the only thing you can think about is a purple polar bear. But I don't know, what's that, what's that, um, what's that word for people who can't envision things in their minds? In their mind's eye? Like they, they don't have like literal pictures for things that they're thinking about? I love this song. Alright, guys, I promise one day i will find music that's not game chops but for now it's still hitting hard it's still great i'm still i'm like that's a bop as the kids say you know it slaps i know someone in norway and he says they own an island that he sees polar bears on Ooh. opposite of synth Synesthesia. It's like af aphantasia? Game chops do be slapping. Burbs, you play game chops quite a bit too. I wanna be more courageous and just play my own music, but probably not on the official Wacom channel. We gotta get that check mark. Does Twitch have check marks? Guys, we gotta get partner. <laughs> we need to make more movies and make partner just so we can get that little check mark. Norway owns the island, I mean.
Thank you. I thought that was a nice purple too. There's a little smudge right there. I don't know where that came from. I think everything I've drawn in the past 20 years. I just said 20 years. I didn't mean to say that. Everything I've drawn in the past year has purple in it. So at four o'clock, uh, we are going to do a thanks for posting segment. So if you want uh, anything to be shown on the stream, post it in the artwork channel in the discord and we're just gonna have a show and tell and i like to highlight how cool you all are if uh i don't know if i have a mod out there eli are you a mod eli should be a mod I think I just made you a mod, Eli. Eli just got a promotion. Eli's now a Twitch mod. Eli now has the power to uh, kick people out. Uh, Eli now has the power to do polls, do predictions. It's a lot of power. I hate that. Let's just do this. If only I knew what to do. Edna mode. It really does. It really does. I love how casually you chose purple for the bear. It's got to be purple, right? And like I said, just everything I draw is, is purple. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> purple has been my color for the past year. And this bear belongs in this purple. You know what? You guys are like hyping up this purple so much. I was going to change it, but now I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Let's, uh, what happens if we do this? I like it. I like it. But it needs to be darker. There we go. There we go. Bear it be. Bear it bear. Bear it be. Bear. Bears. Fancy wombat. David Ricksmith redeemed draw me a doodle and you wanted a fancy wombat? I was just, I just thought you said fancy wombat in the chat for no reason. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me open, we gotta open the doodle page. Doodle page. We need like a song. It's a doodle. Do the doodle. No, that's noodle, noodle dance. That's PB&J Otter. I just had a 
fever dream of a stroke and thought about PB and J Otter. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh doodle page all right fancy wombat i had a crazy flashback as soon as you sang it <laughs> all right hold on let me a wombat i this is one of those times where i gotta look up a what a wombat looks like oh they're so cute But you want a fancy one. Okay. 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 I used to live for that show. It was a good show. There was... There was three of them. Because it was peanut butter... Jelly, wait, pe peanut butter and jelly, right? There was there was three of them, and each of them. I gotta draw a wombat. I gotta focus. Wombat sketch. David Rick Smith, is this your first draw me a doodle redemption? He's gonna be maybe looking up. Yes, it is. So fancy. I think he's gonna be he's gotta be kinda smug, right? Draw a wombat. It's all in the jowls for the wombat. Pink polo shirt, khaki shorts, boat shoes. They're smug because their poop is cooler than. Do, do wombats have. cool poop? Is that a thing? Thinking a bow tie. Womb ya wombat. They're poop cubes? What? They're cubes? No. No one poops in a cube. That's that's not real. That's not real. Is that real? Wombats do. I swear. Okay. All right. I'll look this up and maybe I'll show it to everyone. <laughs> That's what this stream needs. Wombat poop. 
We thought we had it all on this stream, but we didn't know we didn't have Wombat Poop. This is, this is getting messy real quick. See if I can clean this up. Hold on. Let me clean it up. Let me clean it up. I have a wealth of dumb information, well. <laughs> Poop cubes, okay, all right. Well, I love me <laughs> a knowledge drop. Okay, I got you, I got you, David Drake Smith. Got you. I got some little whiskeys. guy looks like the villain of the story. He's secretly behind it all. He's a stout little fella. Alright, how we looking, David Rick Smith? Make them a little bigger. Put them like over here. Double O Wombat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, all right, cool, cool. Is that where he belongs? I almost think like he could go up here. Or like, oh, what if he was right here? What if he was right here? For some reason, he's like smaller than the rat. He's in his with the evil snowman. I like this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I'm gonna hit save right quick. Because the melon bear is in frame, and we all know what happened last time melon bear was on frame. It, it my com my whole computer crashed. The melon bear is too strong for Twitch. All right, all right. Let's turn this. Let's turn this wombat down. What am I turning down?
Oh God, the latest Windows update, my PC nonstop blue screen, what? Then a week later I saw drop window with an optional update that fixed it. It's like, come on Windows, you're on version what now? Get it together, get it together. I was unsure about this wombat at the beginning, but now I love him so much and he's, I'm creating like a backstory where like the snowmen are like his evil henchmen and some of them go rogue and just want to show you their butts. They're like, the snowmen are like, we're evil, but also look at our butts. I think that was Nikki requested the Calvin and Hobbes snowmen. That's one of the first redemptions. Cheeky. I think I gotta do it for you, Elise. Uh, David, this one is for you. Not that you need more, um, because I don't know how. I don't like. Did you have to move, David, because of how many corn awards are now in your home? You just like needed more space, I gotta imagine. You had to build a whole other house just for all of your corn awards. Wombat got like teeth. He should have some teeth. Too much time to pontificate. David Rick Smith. Oh, elusive Elise. That was good. A house full of gold popcorn? I love that. I love that. Jess Collins coming in, of course. Saving the day with... Oh, that tooth really brought things together. That really... I really drove it home. Thank you for the emote, Jess Collins, is what I was trying to say. Meow, 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 meow. 
need to draw more wombats. Does pulled gold popcorn get stale? <laughs> no, it increases in value. <laughs> That is one emote that we do need to see. Maybe next week we will have a stream dedicated to new emotes. I would like to see the humanity as an emote. I don't know if other people want to see more of the humanity, but he's... The humanity is like still in a special place in my heart and I love him. Where's his pinky finger? Should his pinky finger be doing something? What do you want to see happen with this pinky finger? It's posh to stink, to stink the pink. It's posh to stick the pinky out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like in SpongeBob. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um. How to do? How to do? Getting lost in the details here. There we go. All right. I think that's going to have to be it right there. I'll give this more of a little curl around. How about two pinkies? <laughs> Mega Motion, be careful. Be careful with that. Careful. This is this is a wholesome chat. This is this is Families gather here. It is a dainty little pinky. He's a dainty little wombat. <laughs> My high class mannerisms can't handle all this foul mouthness. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I love this guy. Oh my gosh. But he really like filled up the little corner over here. I think this is great. Thank you so much for the recommendation. I would not have thought to uh, draw a fancy wombat. Dapper chap the wombat. Uh, okay, I have to call it David's Fancy Wombat. David's Fancy Wombat. Noise. Noise. All right, all right. Okay, is that the top of the hour? I said we would watch the movie one more time. Are you guys down to watch the movie one more time? Um, I think I'm gonna, this is, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the movie on. I'm gonna run, take a bio break, and then we're gonna come back and do the Discord. Sick. I will be back before we even meet the bartender. So, so let me uh let me turn the music down. Me... Oh right, that's where the music is. Where is the music? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. I'll see you guys in four minutes. Nope, that's the fun.
Howdy. What will it be? Um, seltzer. Grapefruit. Just a can. Listen, I'm uh, looking for someone. It's a uh, Mr. Mr. Ha. Thanks. May I sit? Of course, friend. Seems like you've been looking for me. I'm looking for something, and I hear you know where it is. Oh, I know exactly what you're looking for, and I got it right here with me. You do? This, this, this isn't what I'm looking for. Listen, I'm looking for, I'm looking for the fountain pen of youth. Well, that's something completely different. Do you know what you're asking for? I do. Legend says it's a pen that never runs out of ink. It's a brush that never runs out of paint, and it's a pencil you never have to sharpen. Well, son, looks like you've done your homework. But this isn't just going to be a jaunt through the woods. Some might say it might even be a perilous journey. Well, I've made it this far, haven't I? All right. I'll get you what you need. Cool. How can I trust you? Is that, is that what I think it is? It sure is, but it's only a piece of the puzzle. You're gonna need more. What are the other pieces? What am I gonna need? That's what you're gonna have to figure out on your own. I'll give you what I got. I told you how to find me anyways. Oh, yeah, Carter did. Who's Carter? You know, the guy that streams on Wednesdays? Purple hair. What? No. Listen, I'm just a side character on the Friday stream. I can't be expected to know everyone. Who is Carter? Carter's the Wednesday guy, obviously. Obviously. Who is he though? Okay. Thank you all for watching. For the second time, some of you. Um, Yo-Yo the horse is here. Another Cartoon Katie uh, illustration. Cartoon Katie is just fueling this stream. Um, I don't know if she's still here, but big shout out to Cartoon Katie and Yo-Yo the Horse. Uh, let's bring up the Discord. That's why we're here. Um, you guys have been blowing up the Discord the past couple days, and I haven't been, like, responding to it, because I was like, I'm saving this. I'm saving this for Friday. Card, I, so, that's what I'm thinking. I have so many plans for this, so I think... I don't, I don't want to reveal anything, but Carter and I are both going to be um, inoculated soon. So hopefully, you know, we can hang out again uh, in IRL, not just over the internet. And so maybe we'll see each other and maybe, maybe Carter wants to um, be an actor. <laughs> 
Maybe? I'm pitching this. Had to stop to hydrate posies. Oh, P. Diego. And P. Diego's got posies. I can't wait to audition for Carter. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever heard you say, Carter. Oh, hydrate. I haven't drank any water. We need Carter. I agree, we need Carter. I was thinking Carter could be like the boss battle at the end of the journey. Or like a, a wizard of sorts. Carter, will you be a wizard for me? Scratch his chin. Todd, I didn't know how much I needed that hydrate. I went back for it twice. Okay, all right, let's bring up let's bring up the Discord. Thank you all for posting. Um, let's get in here. Uh, this was my spoiler, um, so we don't need to, we don't need to see that. Uh, oh, if anyone missed it, this was the secret recipe for yeehaw sauce, or the golem you meet along the way. Carter is not a golem. Oh, let's get this like full screened it. Stoke is part of it. Uh, okay, so David Ricksmith has been posting a lot. Uh, that was those was more. Yo, check this. Check this out. We're getting some color from David Ricksmith, which is great. He's been really showing off his his line work, but now he's like, I don't just got line work. I got color. So he said he's been busting out the cop. All right, this is like a walk 'em, wake 'em thing situation. Is it copic or copic? We need a poll. All right, lots of hydrates, lots of hydrates. Is it Copic or Copic? All right, I'm gonna do a quick poll, hold on. Copic? How do you say it? Copic? Ka, like a, like a, like a crow. Copic, Copic. There we go. There's a poll. How do you say it? I say Copic because I say Wacom. All right, back back to how cool David David is. Um, sweet lizard man, dragon. Sweet dragon lizard man. You really went ham on these scales. It looks like you had fun with these. Um, and these spiky things. But these scales are down here. I'm in love with these. Oh my goodness. Great color. Great expression on this guy. All around. Amazing job. And look, you're just posting more. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty evil. Not like super evil, but close. Good perspective on this hand too. I love your how you kind of like play with style a little bit. Like obviously he's got like lots of detail in his face and then this guy is just some hollow eyed little cartoon. It's pretty great. <laughs> I I really relate to that expression. Oh sweet lizard man. How do you uh walk him? Walk him? Oh, how's this pole doing? Copic. Copic is is big right now. Copic. Yo, Mega Motion. So you've been posting like your process along the way to to this final, and I'm really loving it. Um, and I don't. I, you see these on like Instagram and like Reddit and all the places, but like posting old work and then doing the redraws. You've come a long way. This is amazing. And it's really cool to see how much you've learned in like what I think is a short period of time. It's not that. I mean, like three years. It's amazing, like what you can learn in that amount of time. And jeez, these I, I've I already told you this, but these hands so expressive. Great work. Yeah, amazing stuff. Great work, Mega Motion. 
I didn't see what this was. Ooh, little animation of a drawing. Time lapse, not an animation. Same, same? Very cool. Thank you, meme. Using books and scents is such a perfect combo. This. Sketchy Eli has entered the Discord. Check this out. Look at this face. Look at that face. That's a good face, Eli. I don't know if Eli. Eli yeah, Eli's still here. Look at this face. Look at it. Oh, Copic has won, but only by a slim margin. Copic. Copic? I don't know if there's like a third way to say it. Okay, all right, all right. Ben Lane, Mr. Weasel. We got we got a full screen this one, guys. Wait, we got we gotta go back. Check this out. This is nuts. I'm so excited for this because I know the next part. Uh, he posted um, an animatic, I think last week of this, and the quarter throw is coming. It's so good. Oh. What's it called when things are at an angle? The Dutch, is it a Dutch angle? Dang, this is so good. The Dutch angle. Yo, Kazzy, always blessing us with this brilliant lighting. Some May the 4th stuff that got finished up this week. So good. Todd is doing some Clash of Cronies fan art that I heard he's going to finish. I heard he's going to finish it. Slaber. Light slaber. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna i I'm gonna sample this. I'm not gonna we're not gonna listen to the whole thing, but Kazzy has been posting some music. Let's listen to like the first thirty seconds. I love this. I said 30 seconds, but we're going further. What? I'm not gonna sing you anything. I would ruin this track. I would ruin this track. Yo, Kazzy. That is awesome. I am in love with this. I would, I'm gonna see if, I need to hit up Kazzy and get some official stream intro music from them okay so we have a new person in the discord and i love it like and by love it i mean like i'm borderline obsessed um these are so good these are digital paintings this bottom left one that's the one i'm like really obsessed with look at those hands look at those hands look at these hands Yo, Auntie Coralis, this is top-notch stuff. Um, I'm really into it. I'm really into it. Check out the Discord um, and open this one up. And just look at the hands. <sighs> I'm into it. I'm really into it. Uh, I've been trying to get more realism into my work. And so um, Auntie Coralis just started streaming. So check out her work. Um, I love the hands. Uh, yeah. Uh, check out Auntie Coralis. Uh, like I said, she just started streaming, so give her a follow. Um, I was in her stream this week, and it was pretty awesome. Good stuff. Yo, meme. Meme capable. 
Um, really great stuff here. I love just the, the stark blacks in this. I think Todd said the same thing. Yeah, stark blacks. I could not agree more. Um, yeah. Certain amount of confidence with those blacks that, you know, some I strive for. Yo, Todd, congratulations. Juice and jam time. Congratulations on finishing this. This is not an easy feat. And speaking of feet, look at his feet! Juice and, jam time. Juice and jam time. One more time, one more time. Bless that blue boy. Todd, congratulations on finishing this scene. It looks so good. The background looks amazing. Colors are great. It was fun watching you work on this. Good job. Good job. Todd streams on Thursday, everyone. More stuff from Mega. That was uh, some earlier posts. Let's see. Let's see. There's so much posted. Yo, Mega Motion. Uh, I I know this is like early development, but I really love this. Like I, like words. There, there's gravity in this. Watch the, the flop. I love the flop. I can, it's like, I can hear it. I swear I can hear this. And there's very little animation going on. Like everything is still very rough, but you nailed the weight to it. Great job. Yo, this was from the Tuesday stream. Uh, we got a mermaid barista, which, you know, I gotta love, gotta put some love out for baristas. I was a barista for like three years. I was super snobby about it. I would judge you for what you would order type of a thing. So I love that stuff. Love that stuff. <laughs> Thanks for the show and tell Christopher. I have to go take care of my dog. Okay, Sketchy Eli, thanks for being here. And thanks for being here so early. Oh, yes, yeah, Sierra. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this is from a new person in the in the Discord, Fox. Uh, I love it. Does fan art of other streamers. And this was from a Minecraft streamer. And super cool. We don't get a lot of 3D in here, so... Jello, doing some doing some OCs. David Rick Smith, so good, so good. Love the slime action. So I was curious about this: is the slime eating and dissolving the person, or is the skull like alive and animated and inside the slime? Like, is the skull talking to us? Alive in the slime. So the skull, the skull can talk to us. So good. Um, thank you for posting this, Twisted Zephyr. I just, okay, so I just finished Castlevania Season 4, and woo! Woo! It was so good. It was so good. I had I had my critiques about it, but like, I I really liked season four. I thought it was awesome. Um, Camilla was a really interesting character. Yeah, these like four sisters I thought were really interesting characters. I didn't. I, she was one of my gripes, Lenore. Yeah, love seeing this come together, Mega Motion. Like, I love in progress shots and stuff. I I don't post enough of those. Twisted Zephyr, this was a fun collaboration. Uh, you, I think you said someone else did like the like graphic design elements. Yeah, really cool how those two things came together. Very very cool. Sketchy Eli, drawing some breakfast. You know we love breakfast here. 
And I think we are caught up because the Baranana was posted during my stream last week. Cartoon KD, thank you. Coffee, 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 doo, doo, doo. Yeah, okay, all right, we're caught up. Kazzy, I don't know if Kazzy's in here or Twisted Zephyr that can relay the message, but I loved that song. That was a very good song and I want to use it. That was sick. Meeting's over. I'm back. Make Twitch. We just did uh, the thank you for posting in the Discord. We got to see all of y'all's beautiful art. So, thanks for posting. Um, how do I get back to Photoshop? Did someone say stoke? My little guy is just going, going ham. <laughs> when the meeting's over, the yeeting begins. <laughs> or the eating begins. What else can this guy do? We need more commands for the robot, so if you guys have any suggestions for commands, uh, that would be lovely. Snack time. All right, all right, all right. Let's add some, let's add some shadows to our bear. Is that an orange with a crown? Oh, it's gonna be a blueberry, but you know, I I was saying how blueberries have crowns on them. So you're not far off, you're not far off. Bears love blueberries, right? I grew up in the Northeast and when I was very little, I would go visit my grandma and we would go pick blueberries and she would always warn us that there was probably bears in the blueberry patch and it gave me an irrational fear of bears as a kid. I want you to know that, Grandma. I feared bears and blueberries. If I saw blueberries, I was like, there's probably bears around. I don't think any fear of bears is irrational. <laughs> That's probably true. It's probably good to fear the bears. Don't feed the bears, fear the bears. Voice just cracked a little. Been 
talking to you guys a lot. <laughs> oh, you might check out my pet bear. <laughs> I love that. I did not scare you, must have been your grandfather. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Fear bears that throw pears. I like that. be a glow bear. Who cares about bears with pears? The Care Bears. I watched the Care Bears. I thought the Care Bears are cool. There was that lion one. Some of the bears weren't bears. Like, there was that one lion one, and I was like, one of these things don't belong. You mean that lying one? Oh, at least... Elusive, Elise. I gotta get. I, I gotta get used to just calling you Elise. Elusive Elise. That's for you. No, there is definitely a difference. I've seen some raccoons. I feel like I can't get through a stream without talking about raccoons. I've seen some raccoons in Portland that looked like small bears. I'm not saying that they were like full on, you know, they were bears, but could be easily mistaken as a small bear. These were some serious city raccoons. Raccoons. Give me that raccoon. Beefy raccoons. Yes, very beefy. <laughs> Everyone spam the chat with the, with the uh, raccoon emote. Love to see it. Veto. We're just saying we need we need new emotes. The corn is coming. Someone just did some what? Todd Hopper is gifted a sub to Sierra. Oh, that was nice of you. Thanks for the sub. La gasp. <laughs> La bork. Wait, hold on, hold on. La Bork. I'm gonna forget what what layer that's on. Todd, thank you for gifting a sub. Um, so two people have subbed this uh, stream and I would like to 
remind everyone that all donations, all subs and and bits um, are donated to charity. And I think we still have this command. We donate them to World Changers. So thank you, Todd. <laughs> Love work. So we had a game night where we played essentially a game of like telephone Pictionary I don't really know how to, it's like someone writes something down someone else has to draw it And then someone else Has to figure out what was being drawn and I drew a very poorly drawn bear that was French for some reason, and he barked. So that's why this bear needs to say Le Bork, because that's French, apparently. I'm gonna make a French person upset. Boomerang Foo is amazing. Need to play more Boomerang Foo. drawn on the wrong layer. Ding dang it. Anyone play Left 4 Dead 2? I haven't. Is it worth it? Should I get it? <sighs> Thank you, Jess. Thank you. 
Oh, I really needed that, actually. Thank you. There was a few pops in that. What, uh, are you playing on PC, David Rick Smith, and is it cross-platform? confident that I'm going to draw a waffle. I'm not going to waffle about it. Uh oh. First. First, first. I want to... When are we having those goofy movie watch stream? I don't know, when are you gonna set it up, Mega? It's on PC and I don't know if it's cross-platform. It's set up 24 <laughs> seven. It is, we could do it. Raid Mega Motion for Goofy Movie Stream. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be into that. I'd be into that. Mega Motion, you're, you're, uh, you're playing Goofy Movie right now, I hear. I'll reenact a Goofy movie with Christopher. Who plays Goofy and who plays Max in this scenario? I feel like I could do kind of a good Goofy. Oh, uh, yo. Yeah. I'd have to, I need some practice though. I'm older, so I get to be Goofy. Okay, all right, you call me old. I'm at the age now where like, I'm starting to get sensitive to people calling me old. <laughs> At first it was funny, but now I'm like, oh wait. Wait, it's not, it's not, they're not saying it ironically anymore.
Todd could be Roxanne. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, I didn't hear that. Chris, could you do it again? Oh, uh, yep. We have the perfect cast. <laughs> Did anyone notice Mitchell's versus Machines was one big goofy movie reference? Because it's just like a road trip movie. Also, I loved um, that movie, Mitchell's versus the Machines. It was so good. The ending when they're flying on robots to the my he, my ho to that song. What is that song called? Um, was just beautiful. It was it was a thing of beauty. I was like, this is high art. This is art with a capital A. I don't know what these, if there's a word for like waffle squares, but they're just maple syrup collectors. They have the same car and literally did the perfect cast in the film. You are absolutely correct. A word for waffle squares, um, I think it's called perfection. Yeah, you are right with that. So baffling to me. What do you mean? Waffles are amazing. Someone looked at a potato and thought it would it would taste better. Square. Wait, waffles are not potatoes. Waffles are the same thing as pancakes, just in different form. Wait, are waffles potatoes in the UK? What? <laughs> No, in the in the US waffles are just a different form of pancake. Right? Am I am I crazy on this? Am I the crazy one? <laughs> like it's literally the same batter. Maybe a little bit more butter so they don't stick to the waffle iron. <laughs> I mean, a potato waffle sounds awesome too. Waffle fries are a thing. Okay, waffles are have different batter if you do it right, but like what's really different about it? It's just more butter, which makes them better. More butter equals better. Do you guys know the tongue twister about Betty who bought some butter? Apparently, Betty bought some butter, but the butter Betty bought was bitter. 
So Betty bought some better butter to make the bitter butter better. But the bitter butter made the better butter bitter. And that's the story about butter. That's my butter story. You learn so much on the street. <laughs> yeah, you learned about you learned about wombat poop. And Betty's butter. Wombats have square poo, Brits have square potatoes. <laughs> As you should be tired. We're glad you're here though. Oh my god, touch was on that whole time. Okay, so you can turn touch on and off <laughs> on this Cintiq. And like, if I ever turn touch on, I'm like, that song comes into my head, like, Touch me. I don't even know the words, but I just know he just says, touch me. <laughs> okay. This is supposed to be a family-friendly uh, stream. I'm going to stop there. <laughs> oh, boy. This stream in a summation. What? The <laughs> I feel like I want to get a screenshot of that. I don't know if I know this song. I don't know if I know it either, but I just. I'm struggling. Struggling. It's like a robot voice. Apparently Coca-Cola tastes completely different between America and the UK too. Do you guys actually use uh, like real sugar? I bet that's I bet that's the kicker. You guys probably use like cane sugar. That's stuff that's like kills you a little bit slower. Exactly. Yeah, we got that, <laughs> that corn syrup. Uh, not that it's harder to grow, it's cheaper to grow. So I guess maybe it's just, it's just cheaper. It's satisfaction, that's the song. Push me and then just touch me so I can get my satisfaction. That's the song. I couldn't think of it while another song was playing. I don't think this is Game Chops anymore. We're, we're, we're gonna get flagged. Hold on a second, I gotta change it. This is Cowboy Bebop Lo-Fi Jazz Hop. Uh, game Chops.
This is Game Chops Radio. I don't know if we're gonna get flagged for this either. Hold on, I got. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pick a different one. Chill Tendo. I like this one. I think it's to do with what they feed chickens. Do they feed them bleach? What? Bell peppers and beef? What? They waste money scrubbing eggs, but cheap on the sugar. The American way. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you're not supposed to clean eggs, right? If you don't wash eggs, then they are like shelf stable for like 30 days or something like that. But as soon as you wash them, you like have to put them in the fridge. So I'm just like, let that poop stay on the eggs. I am pro poop on the eggs. That's not something I expected to say. Clean eggs and scam. That's really good. Uh, that's really good. That's really good. That's, that's for you, David. Of course. You know what? I almost wrote, wrote exclamation point David just because I th you get all the awards, David. You get all of them. I'm just gonna rewrite this as David's award. This is David's award. This isn't the pun award, it's David's award. Dr. Sus, I like that too. I like that too. We used to eat pigeons and eels here, so it all evens out. I mean, like, eels are, you can still eat eel. Like, every time I, I go to sushi, I, I see that there's an eel roll, and I think, you know, maybe this this will be the time I have the eel roll, and then I don't. I always chicken out. Man, I haven't had good sushi in a hot minute. Oh my god. Be real with the eel. <laughs> Just haven't gotten down on that eel yet. Frito, thanks for following Frito. Thanks for being here. I don't see you in the chat, but have a wonderful lurk if you're still here. We're drawing bears and breakfast. This is this is great. 
I don't think I've gotten like new followers during a stream in a while. Sierra's been stealing all the new followers. Unagi is so good. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, Grace Like Science is, is there's, there will be very little science in this uh, stream. Any science? Here's a disclaimer right off the bat. All science here is made up science. I am not a professional. I'm merely an actor. I'm not a scientist, I just play one on Twitch. Spreading knowledge. I feel right at home. <laughs> we already talked about wombat poop. Grace like science, have you been in here a hot minute? Have you been here a while? Have you like Grace like science? Yeah, we only talk about the things that like are like key information or like key knowledge for existence, right? Like everyone, every human being should know that wombats have square poop. I wonder how a dung beetle would transport poop cubes. That would also be a fun illustration. There's like a wombat. It'd be a fun little comic. Wombat does his business. Leaves, exit, exits left. Dung beetle comes in from the right and he's like, well, good thing I'm here. But then he sees this square poop. He's like, what am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? Lick it until it's round, Elise, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Just directs them as they fall. The dung beetle's like, nope, over here. And he's got, he's got like traffic cones and he's got like airport airplane sticks, air traffic control sticks. I think that's what the, the official term for them. And he's just directing the wombat where to poop. That's pretty good. <laughs> just licks it until it's round. Come on. What have I, I've been saying this this whole time. This is, this is a family show. <laughs> what have I really accomplished? I think, I think we need a different gradient in this background.
This is what I want. I want the bear to be glowing. There we go. Bear we go. Build a poop crane and lift them. He uses fireflies. Oh, that's cute. Grace like science. So you have this all worked out. Uh, when you have drawn this comic, please post it in the Discord. Pancakes. Is that on the bear outline? It is. Chat gets boring, just talk to the robot. I love that. I like to think like, as he's saying this, he's having like a little existential crisis. Am I a robot? And, but he dances too, he's very, hasn't figured out how to use emotion yet. I see movement in the chat. Concentrating. Stay on target. <laughs> Elusive lice. <laughs> Elusive, elusive Elise, I'm so sorry. I always say Elusive Lice in my head and I know it's not your name, it's, it's Elise. I'm sorry. I will allow this, I will allow this. Maybe it's out of context now. 
Purple star. Thank you for the purple star. Thank you. I did it again. I'm sorry, Elise. I remember the first time I did that to you. It was on a Cintiq showdown. And I was like, oh, nice. Elusive Lice is really chatting us up today. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I am rude. I just noticed the lamp work. <laughs> that was uh that was for you and, and David. Weasel's not in the chat today. Neither is JPA. Where's JPA? I feel like JPA was here. Yes. <laughs> Let work. It does calm me down. It's a good mantra. If you don't want to say om, you can say leborg. We have some strawberries growing in our garden right now, and I've been eating them. It's very exciting. Uh, if you see, if I see like a strawberry out there and it's ripe, like I have to eat it because the squirrels have also been eating them. And the squirrels do this like really like very jerk thing where they will take a bite of, they will take the strawberry off the plant, take a bite of it and leave like the entire strawberry next to the plant as if to be like i just tried it i didn't like it throw it away you did just hear the bananas and pajamas tune yes jerk squirrels like they're not even eating the strawberries like it'd be one thing if like we were feeding the squirrels am i on the wrong layer oh my god Guys, I'm on the wrong layer. No, how did this happen? This layer is called a very good layer and it's the wrong layer. Oh my God. Alvin, <laughs> that's a chipmunk. I, we don't actually have chipmunks around in our backyard for whatever reason. I don't think I've ever seen a chipmunk in our backyard. Maybe they lost the turf war with the squirrels. Rodent Wars. 
pay tribute to the squirrel god. No, I'm not feeding the squirrels. We have bird feeders, though. We feed the birds, and therefore we kind of feed the squirrels. Elise, thank you for being here. Thanks for the follow. Uh, it was really great chatting with you. Uh, you, it's, it's, it's been, it's been nice. It's been nice. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. It's Friday. I'm getting hungry. I'm doing pizza tonight. We've talked about pizza on the stream before, but any suggestions out there for what I should put on my pizza? No strawberries. I'm not doing strawberries on pizza. Chili con carne pizza? All right, all right, all right. Squirrel. <laughs> Hot dogs. Hey, I just post, speaking of hot dogs, I wanna bring this up. Okay, hold on. There is, there is a hot dog contest right now for artists. And I posted it about it on my Instagram, but you know, not everyone is following me. So well, I'm gonna show you guys. This is like, it's pretty important as far as like in the world of hot dogs. There is a hot dog art contest. Let's uh, let's go over to, <laughs> just call on. <laughs> so Jolby and friends is a uh, super cool, uh, agency here in Portland and we've, we've done some stuff like some drink and draws with them. They are super chill. Um, like these guys a lot and they have a Joby hot dog art contest. All right. Hey, you, do you like hot dogs? Do you like them on long sleeve tees? Do you make artwork of some kind, digital, physical, metaphysical, or otherwise? I'm just gonna read this first part. Then enter our Jolby hot dog art contest. Here's the details. And you guys can go into the details. But I was like, this is something I gotta promote. You know, this is not, they did not tell me to do this, but there's a hot dog art contest out there in the world. And it's by Jolby and friends. So check out Jolby and friends on Instagram and send them your hot dog art, okay? All right, all right, back to back to the other thing. I meant to check that out. Do you win a lifetime hot dogs? I've, if I could be sponsored by Jolby and friends, I would, oh boy, that would like, that would, that would be it. I would, that would be it. I would have string goals right there. Get sponsored by Jolby. Jolby is really cool. They do really cool work and are very inspirational. Thank you for being what? 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 What did I just see there? I just saw Skyball Rats is now following. Please send them their- Skyball Rats, how are you not following this channel? <laughs> Where did Sky Mall Rats go? I don't even see him in the chat. There he is. 
Sky Mall Rats. Did you get offended by when I said, who's Carter? Did you leave? Then did you come back? My God, Sky Mall Rats! I don't know if I can continue this stream. You shook me. I am shooketh. Oh, blueberry! My scale in this drawing is really out of whack. These blueberries are gigantic. That banana is really small. That's okay. I still think it's very good. He hath been shooketh. <laughs> have you have you really not been following? Like, we gotta talk later, Carter. We gotta talk. I'm bringing this up in our team meeting. Yeah, okay, likely story, likely story. I was all excited there because I was like, wow, I'm on a roll for new followers today, you know? I'm actually getting some notifications in the stream. People like me. I feel liked. And then I saw it was you, and I was, like, my heart dropped, and I was like, oh, it's just Carter. Not that I don't like to see you, but, like, come on, you're trolling. They like me. They really like me. Wow, hot takes. I read, wow, hot cakes. And then I started thinking about pancakes again. I need more fruit up here. Potato waffles. Yeah, waffles are way better than pancakes. Because you, you have the flavor savers. You have like the little like... You have the flavor squares. It literally holds syrup and... That other stuff, butter. And maybe jam. You ever put jam on your on your waffles? The other day I made waffles and I made it a waffle sandwich. I put peanut butter and then some honey and then some maple syrup. I'm gonna get diabetes. Like tiny little flavor bowls, exactly. Nay? Jess Collins, are you a pancake? You're 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 the pancake. Advocate. Pancake advocate. That's what I'm trying to say. I put some jam on my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it was... 
it was a little much. I didn't sleep well that night. And I had it for breakfast. Team Pancake. No way. And team Waffle. There's no waffling about it. They're better. Where are all my sketchy layers? I think I get them out of here. I think, I think that's it. What's the batter with pancakes? Oh my god. Oh my god. Just let me get out the David Award. Let me get out the David Award. <laughs> Another five years. a waffle iron that's all i'm saying about waffles they're like yeah you can have pancakes anytime sure every weekend every day you make a pancake but how many times do you make waffles they're like a treat yourself moment you take time you get out the waffle iron you're like this is a special occasion waffles are like they're great Pancakes, you have them every day. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna color this banana. We might call it a stream. We might play the movie one more time. <laughs> Just because I just spent the last, like, 18 hours of my life making it. I'm, I really want to uh, make sure it has... Clouds and fruit line work. Just really want to get my money's worth out of it, you know? used for every meal for three days and then forgot about it oh my god i'm gonna make i'm gonna make waffles this weekend i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna show you guys hating on the waffles <laughs> C 
Sierra, I hate how accurate you were with that. <laughs> Waffles, more like it. That sounds like Wario. Waffles. <laughs> Wario. Waffles. <laughs> Wario. I feel like Wario on Team Waffle over here. Because no one really likes him. Oops. Wario. <laughs> Yeah, Mario is the pancake in this situation for sure. I feel like I just heard a Yoshi in this song, which is super funny. Wario's guest appearance on stream. Then what's Yoshi Crepes? <laughs> Yoshi never forgives. Yoshi! Yoshi! I'm not very good at Yoshi. Yoshi! He's more like nasally than, than that. Like. Yoshi! Nope. Does anyone out there have a good Yoshi? Give me a bring? Huh? I don't get it. Yoshi yells bring ha huh? when he does a slam? I did not know that. second. Did you guys need that again? 
Nem. I hope not. <laughs> I probably will. We're gonna get flagged now because of Yoshi's. We're probably gonna get flagged for Yoshi's. The stream's gonna get taken down. We're gonna have to. So if if we start streaming next week on an account called Wacom Experience Center underscore two, you'll know why. Mega Motion, it was the video of the, of the lizards licking food. It was that exactly. <laughs> Good call out. Good call out. <laughs> you are, you're a man of culture. You know what's up. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do about the strawberry? Do I have to bring red into this? How about purple? Strawberries can be purple. Yeah, purple everything. It might be that. It might be this. I mean, the strawberries gotta be green too. This is too much color. It's too much. We are the Knights of Nay. We demand the shrubber. We are no longer the Knights of Say Nay. French, why are you in England? <laughs> it's probably the most quotable movie of all time, and it's probably the movie I've quoted the most in my life. If there was like, if 
there was a movie out there that was like Chris has quoted so many movies. Monty Python and the Holy Grail would be number one for sure. Maybe Anchorman as a close second. Only because that came out when I was like in middle school and I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> Throw sky. I forgot they threw a cow. I need to rewatch this movie. <laughs> I'm be quoting that the rest of the night. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm liking this so far. I'm liking it. We got some. We got some work to do on it. We got. We got some more coloring. We got to color some blueberries. We got to do something with this text. This text. This text needs some love. We need some heavenly rays radi radiating out of this bear. But it's very good so far. It's very good. But that might call it. I'm going to... You know what? I'll see you on the other side of this. Seltzer, grapefruit, just a can. Listen, I'm uh, looking for someone. It's a uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Ha. Thanks. May I sit? Of course, friend. Seems like you've been looking for me. I'm looking for something, and I hear you know where it is. Oh, I know exactly what you're looking for, and I got it right here with me. You do? This this, this isn't what I'm looking for. Listen, I'm looking for, I'm looking for the fountain pen of youth. Well, that's something completely different. Do you know what you're asking for? I do. Legend says it's a pen that never runs out of ink. It's a brush 
that never runs out of paint, and it's a pencil you never have to sharpen. Well, son, looks like you've done your homework. But this isn't just going to be a jaunt through the woods. Some might say it might even be a perilous journey. Well, I've made it this far, haven't I? All right, I'll get you what you need. Cool. How can I trust you? Is that, is that what I think it is? It sure is, but it's only a piece of the puzzle. You're gonna need more. What are the other pieces? What am I gonna need? That's what you're gonna have to figure out on your own. I'll give you what I got. So, uh, who told you how to find me anyways? Oh, yeah, Carter did. Who's Carter? You know, the guy that streams on Wednesdays? Purple hair. What? No. Listen, I'm just a side character on the Friday stream. I can't be expected to know everyone. Okay, I'm sorry for the people who watched that three times. Who is Carter? He's the Wednesday streamer. We answered it. We answered it. You know, he's the other guy. He's the other tall guy. I'm excited for, for Carter in the next... I, I think Carter needs to appear in the next one. So... First off, everyone have a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm hoping I'm going to get this breakfast bear done we need to catch up on emotes net next week next week might be an emote stream i don't know it might it might not be we'll see we'll see what next week brings but monday uh megan will be back she'll be back from vacation so i'm sure we'll hear all about it um tuesday uh sierra is doing more character design stuff uh, i think she is coming up with a new set of don't quote me on what Sierra's doing, but I think she has like a new new mood board that she's gonna post. Um, Wednesday, Carter, Carter, you know, Carter will be here. Hi, Miss Mary Diego. This is the end of the stream, but thanks for popping in here. Uh, Thursday is nothing. I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's not nothing. T T Todd will be streaming, and we had a lack of Todd this week, so I'm sure Todd will be coming back in full force next week. Um, so, oh, I forgot hey was one of the keywords. If you type in hey, then the robot does stuff. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> nah, no worries, Todd. Sometimes we just need a break from streaming. Uh, I totally get that. Um... And then Friday, I will be back. And then it'll be the weekend again. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to make this robot just do stuff. But thank you all for being here. This has been brought to you by the Wacom Experience Center in Portland, Oregon. Love seeing all of you. Uh, this has been a great stream. And yeah. We'll see you next week. Maybe with more stuff. Who knows? You never know what's going to happen on the stream. Okay. I don't know where the... There it is. All right. Goodbye.